Phil Murphy here alongside UFC Hall of Famer George St. Pierre. George, you've had a couple days to let that truth sink in that you are a UFC Hall of Famer. You've been a lifelong mixed martial artist. What does it mean to you to be honored at that stage and, and immortalized in this space? It's the greatest honor I can get right now. It's the cherry on, on top. I've been corrected because I, I, in different interviews before this, I've been saying cherry on the cake because in French we say la cerise, so you translate word by word, cerise <laughs> sur le sundae, so cherry on top. Yeah, it's, it's amazing. So we saw a photo a moment ago or video of you shaking the hand of, of Nick Diaz. <laughs> yes. I mean, we, we've come a long way from wolf tickets at a press conference. What is it like for, for this relationship to evolve as it has over this time? I, I, I don't really have a relationship with Nick. I just wish him truthfully the best of luck. I don't hold any grudge with none of my opponent and I wish him to perform as well as he can be, you know what I mean? And uh, I'm, really, I'm really looking forward to, to watch him fight tonight against Robbie Lawler. It's going to be a hell, of a, a hell of a clash. When you were the longtime welterweight champion, you talked all the time about evolving yourself as a mixed martial artist. Mm -hmm. You've now been out of the space for a few years now, watching the sport evolve. Where do you think the next step in the evolution is of MMA? Listen, the, it, it's normal. The, the, the fighters of today are better than the fighters of yesterday. Mm -hmm. And as good as they are today, the fighters of tomorrow will be better. We can't stop the progress. That's how it is. So it's very often people ask me, who's the best fighter? Who will be the best fighter? Who's the best fighter in, uh, on the planet? Like, like pound for pound, he's not born yet. He's, he's, he's in the future. But for me, my GOAT, on the, all the ones that have been competing so far, is, it's Royce Gracie. And what do you hope your role is in, in helping this sport evolve? Well, Einstein has said, like, we stand on the shoulders of giant. I've learned from, from my predecessor, from the Mark Coleman, Royce Gracie, uh, you know, Bass Rutten, Hanzo Gracie, all these guys. I've learned from them, watching them. I grew from it, you know, because they inspire us to do what, what we do. And uh, the next generation, hopefully, I hope they're going to learn from me and get better. You know, we pass the, tor the torch. Well, I mean, you can see how these fighters look at you. What does it mean to you to have that kind of, for lack of a better term, reverence from the stars of today? Oh, man, it's, it's an honor. I, I, I love the UFC. I never never going to leave the sport. You know, I'm always going to be involved in some ways, even though my days in the octagon as a, an active competitor is, is, is done. I will always remain remain uh, close by and on the side to to help the sport grow i, I love this this uh, sport yeah a welterweight champ a middleweight champ now ufc hall of famer george st pierre always generous with your time thanks so hey, much it's a pleasure thank you for having me thank you for watching espn on youtube for live streaming sports and premium content subscribe to espn plus